Slaughter's my name. Luke Slaughter. Cattle's my business. It's a tough business. It's big business. I got a big stake in it. And there's no man west of the Rio Grande big enough to take it from me. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Luke Slaughter of Tombstone, Civil War cavalryman turned Arizona cattleman. Across the territory, from Yuma to Fort Defiance, from Flagstaff to the Huachucas, and below the border through Chihuahua and Sonora, his name was respected or feared, depending on which side of the law you were on. Man of vision, man of legend, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Ten pounds of dust this last couple of weeks. Won't be much longer, Jim. With luck, we'll be in Tombstone day after tomorrow. Won't be none too soon for me. Once I get out of this saddle, I'm going to stay out of it a while. You've never been to Tombstone, Jim. A couple of things you ought to know. Such as what? It'll be a pretty wild town. Oh, they got some peaceful, law-abiding citizens there, all right. They've also got some of the toughest drifters in the world. Gunslingers? Yeah. So remember, you keep that itchy trigger finger of yours under control. Don't you worry none about me. Hold it. <laughs> What's your matter? A little smoke coming out of that brush over there. Jim, keep the herd headed straight. Come on, Wichita, let's take a look. Right. Could be a campfire. Yeah. This is... Indian country around here, ain't it, Slaughter? Indian country, bandit country, rustler country, you name it. Yeah. Well, as soon as we get up to the edge of the wash here, we... Yeah, there it is. Little campfire down near that clump of Ocotillo. The fire's out, but it's still smoking. There's no sign of life around. You reckon... Hold it. <laughs> Movement back there in the mesquite. All right, come on out of there. Come out. I'm coming. Don't you shoot now. Who are you? My name's Ralston. He's got a leg wound, Slaughter. What are you doing here? You a marshal? No. I got into a scrape in Tombstone. I had to get out. With a souvenir in your leg, huh? Uh -huh. It's not bad, but it slows me down. My horse got away from me last night, and I couldn't catch it. I had a hole up here. And a scrape where you're in. I didn't do nothing wrong, mister. I'm innocent. I didn't ask you about that. I asked what kind of scrape. Slaughter. Yeah, I see him. Two of them. Rifles across their saddles. You think this fellow was a decoy to get us into a trap? No, no, that's not true. Wait a minute. One of them's wearing a badge. Yeah. I've seen him before. Taggart, sheriff from Tombstone. All right, Ralston. Just hold it right where you are. Don't try nothing. That bad leg of his, Sheriff, I doubt he's going to try much. With fugitives, I don't take no chances, stranger. Thanks for rounding him up for me. He's a fugitive, huh? He sure is. My name's Taggart. I'm the sheriff of Tombstone. It's my deputy, Blackwell. Been trailing Ralston for two days now. What's the charge? Payroll robbery. That's a lie. You it's... keep your mouth shut, Ralston. Everybody in Tombstone knows you did it. Easy, Blackwell. He ain't gonna make no trouble. We'll see to that. Payroll robbery, you say? Yeah, one of the mines. He was supposed to be guarding it. Instead, he took off with it. You got any witnesses? You got plenty of evidence. I asked you if you had any witnesses. What business is it of yours? Just a minute, Blackwell. I'm talking to Taggart. Who are you, stranger? Luke Slaughter. Slaughter, I heard of you. Supposed to be pretty fast with a gun, ain't you? It's a matter of opinion. If you ask me, it's more an opinion. I didn't ask you, Wichita. Oh. You got a warrant for Ralston's arrest, Taggart. Well? There's no time to get a warrant. 
That's funny. Last I heard, there was a judge right there in Tombstone. Wouldn't have taken you very long. How about you busting right across the border without any papers or anything? Slaughter, you got a bad habit of being insulted. That's a habit I'm going to break. Now? Let's take him, Taggart. Can you take both of us, Blackwell? <laughs> we got the drop on you, Slaughter. Well, that's a matter of opinion, too, Taggart. Meaning what? Those rifles of yours are pretty clumsy at close quarters. I don't think you got the drop on me at all. Let's find out. I'm here to take my prisoner back to Tombstone. Not without a warrant. Well, now, you ain't going to Don't move that rifle the... unless you're going to use it. You got a herd out there, Slaughter. You heading for Tombstone? That's right. Now, I'll see you in Tombstone. It's fine with me. Come on, Blackwell. Thanks, Slaughter. Thanks a lot. Get Rolson up behind you, Wichita. Let's get back to the herd. By sunset, two days later, we were in Tombstone. We herded the cattle into the pens, then we went to the Crystal Palace to collect our money from the cattle buyer, Ezra Canfield. Well, I've checked them cattle over slaughter. He's in good condition, considering the distance you brought him. Here's your money. Count it, Wichita. Right. What are your plans now, Slaughter? Heading right back to Mexico. Pick up another herd. Good. We got a lot of hungry miners here in Tombstone. Need all the beef we can get. Now, don't tell me we gotta leave right away, Slaughter. I wanna see the sights around here. Tombstone's not a very good town for you to be wandering around loose in, Jim. I promise you I won't get in no trouble, Slaughter. I just wanna do a little living for a change. Money's all here. All right. Jim, take it back to the hotel room. Sit on it. But what about seeing the sights? We'll talk about that later. I'll get moving. All right, dog. <laughs> Sounds like he sure spoiled his evening, Slaughter. Well, I think we can arrange for him to get a couple of breaths of night air around here before we take off. Taggart just come in. I see him. Well, Canfield, look like you ain't too particular who you do business with. There's nothing wrong with them cattle he sold me, Sheriff. I checked them myself. That ain't what I meant. I'm talking about slaughter here obstructing justice, refusing to turn over a fugitive to me. Where are you hiding Ralston now, Slaughter? You ought to know. You're the sheriff. <laughs> What's that signify? I had a little talk with Ralston on the trail. All he wanted was to be sure of getting back here in one piece to stand a fair trial. Turned himself into your night guard at the jail. You're bluffing. Well, that'll be an easy bluff to call. Why don't you go find out? I aim to. Uh, he's a pretty poor excuse for a sheriff, Slaughter. But he's all we got. Well, what do you expect? Who'd want the job? Tombstone's a rough town. Not too rough for the right man. I think you could be the right man, Slaughter. Me? Yeah. There are a lot of us around here who'd like to see law and order established once and for all, Slaughter. And we know about you. We know you can handle the worst of them. You know, that might not be such a bad idea, if you ask me. Nobody did, Wichita. Oh. I'm sorry, Canfield. My business is cattle, not law enforcement. In Tombstone, law enforcement's everybody's business. Get over, Slaughter. <laughs> If you was to take the job, Slaughter, I'll bet Jim would be glad to be your deputy. Yeah, that's all I'd need around here. He'd probably start more fights than he'd stop. Come on. Slaughter, I wonder about you sometimes. I wonder if you wasn't already a lawman once. <laughs> I wonder about you too, Wichita. I wonder if you were born with that big nose of yours, or did you grow it later? <laughs> <laughs> Had it as long as I can remember. But hey, it's raining. I didn't know it ever rained in Tombstone. It isn't very heavy. Won't last long. Slaughter. What is it, Taggart? What kind of play is this? I don't know what you're talking about. Ralston is what I'm talking about. I told you. 
Ralston turned himself in. Yeah, well, he ain't in the jail now. That cell door is wide open. What? And what's more, my night guard's been pistol up. Looked like Ralston had a friend helped him to break out. You wouldn't know who that'd be, would you? No, I wouldn't. Hey, Sheriff. The horse has been stolen from Wilkie's livery stable. That's proudly how Ralston made his getaway. Looks like I got you to thank for this, Slaughter. Think so? Yeah. If I handled things my own way, this wouldn't have happened. Next time you cross me is going to be the last time. Don't be too sure of that, Taggart. <laughs> you know, Slaughter, you got a natural talent for making enemies. A man like Taggart, it isn't hard. <laughs> Come on. Let's get back to the hotel. I still don't get it, Slaughter. Why would Ralston have gave himself up and then busted out of jail? Some men you never know about till they make a move. Ralston didn't do it alone. He had to have a friend. Maybe his friend convinced him he wouldn't get a fair trial. Maybe. Anyway, he... Slaughter, look, Jim, on the floor. He's been slugged. He's out cold. Wait a minute. The cattle money. Yeah. It's gone. In a moment, Luke Slaughter of Tombstone returns. Whenever significant events take place, you can count on CBS News to bring you first-hand and well-detailed descriptions of what is happening, often broadcast right from the scene of the event. You can count on CBS Newsmen, too, to make certain that fact is emphasized and conjecture clearly labeled. Each correspondent on staff brings a fine background in reporting to his job. And in the tradition of the CBS newsroom, they all share an uncompromising respect for the truth. So why don't you let CBS News keep you as fully informed as an expert? And now, act two of William N. Robeson's production of Luke Slaughter of Tombstone. Jim. Jim, come on, boy. Wow. That's it, boy. Come on, come out of it. You all right, Jim? Oh, I, I guess so. What happened, Jim? I, I don't rightly know, Slaughter. I... Heard a noise. It sounded like it come from outside the window on the balcony. Yeah. I went over and stuck my head out to look. Something awful hard hit me on the side of the head. I went down. And then somebody climbed through the window into the room. I tried to get to my feet and he hit me again. Well, that's the last I remember. You get a good look at him, Jim? No, he... His hat was pulled down low, and he had a bandana over his face. Was it Ralston? I don't know. He, he took the cattle money, didn't he? Yeah. Fine guard I turned out to be. Yeah, it's too late to worry about that. Just be glad you have a hard head. Slaughter. Yeah. It was Ralston. How do you figure? Remember that ring he wore? Mexican work, looked like? What about it? Had a green stone set in it, carved like a snake's head. Yeah, I remember. Here it is. I found it on the floor. Must have been jarred loose when he slugged Jim. That's a stone, all right. Well, looks like Taggart was right after all. <laughs> Well, well. So you finally wised up to Ralston, huh, Slaughter? Too late, of course. Maybe not, Taggart. What's your time? Yeah. You got the grub ready? Packed in the saddlebags. Maybe next time you won't interfere when I'm trying to enforce the law. How about the bedrolls, Wichita? All ready. You're going after him, huh? What do you think? I think there's a couple of things wrong with that idea. Like what? In the first place, you get a poor chance of finding his trail at night in the rain. Rain's letting up. It'll stop soon. I want to be ready to start trailing as soon as it's light. The second thing is wrong. Is law enforcement is my business, Slaughter, not yours. That's my money he got away with. Yeah, but there's still a matter of that mine payroll he's got stashed away somewhere. <laughs> now look, it's Slaughter. 
Ain't no sense our being at each other's throats all the time. You crossed me once, it riled me, but I'm willing to let it pass. I figure everybody's entitled to one mistake. Depends on what the mistake is, doesn't it? The point is, we both want Ralston. Now, the smart thing to do is for us to trail him together. Me and Blackwell, you and Wichita. How about it? All right, Taggart. Good. Good. I'll get word to Blackwell right away. He's on his ranch out of town a ways up near Crocker Mesa. Well, he ain't a full-time deputy, huh? <laughs> this town can't afford one. I'll send word to him to meet us in the morning. We'll be ready at sunup. Let's keep in Blackwell, Taggart. Will you be along any minute, Slaughter? Oh, it's been an hour since the rain stopped. We're wasting time. That trail's going to get cold on us, even if we manage to pick it up in the first place. And that ain't going to be easy. Easier than you think, baby. What do you mean, Taggart? I had a talk with Wilkie down the stable last night. That stolen horse had thrown a shoe off of his left hind hoof. Wilkie didn't have a chance to put a new one on. That'll help some. Oh, here's Blackwell. Uh, sorry I'm late, gents. Busted the cinch strap saddling up and I had to rig a new one. Yeah, no harm, Blackwell. Ten minutes isn't going to make much difference one way or another. It does to me. All right, gentle down, Slaughter. Now, I figure Austin headed south, out of town towards the border. We'll cover that area first. Let's get moving, gents. Looks like that was a bum hunch of yours about Ralston headed for the border, Taggart. You've covered every trail leading south out of Tombstone. Well, like I say, Slaughter, everybody entitled to one mistake. Gotta admit, it was logical to reckon he'd be headed straight south. Well, we covered most of the country west of town, too. Well, we'd just keep circling. Maybe he took off to the north. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey. What is it? Over there. Tracks. I'll take a closer look. What about it, Blackwell? Yeah? This is the one we're looking for, all right. No shoe on the left hind hoof. Heading straight west. Yeah. For the San Pedro River. Let's move. The tracks lead right into the river. Yeah, it's an old trick, but it still works. Probably rode up or downstream a ways, then out on the other side. This trail's gonna be tough to find again over there. That's pretty rocky ground. So I see. When we do pick it up again, I'll bet it turns south. I still think he's heading for the border. Let's cross and split up. Two upstream, two downstream. Right. Whoever picked that trail on the other side fired two shots. Right. Dang, if I can figure a fellow like Rolston out, Slaughter. I sure never figured he'd take this way of paying you back for everything you've done for him. Hold it here, Wichita. What's the matter? Let Taggart and Blackwell get out of sight around that bend. Mm. Now let's get back to the riverbank. I don't get it, Slaughter. We're not going to look for tracks on the other side of the river. We're going to look for them on this side. I still don't know what you... Get off your horse. Mm. Now take a look. A close look at those tracks we've been trailing, Wichita. Uh -oh. Well? There's a little dry dirt in the bottom of each one. Yeah. It was raining last night when Ralston supposed to have stolen our money in the horse and made his getaway. Yeah, rain stopped about an hour before sunup. And these tracks were made after it stopped raining. That's why you see dry dirt with the hooves cut through the wet. Wait a minute. You mean somebody rigged this trail to lead us on a wild goose chase? That's just what we're going to find out. We worked our way along the riverbank. Half a mile upstream, we picked up the tracks coming back out of the river and circling. We followed them, headed northwest. Twenty minutes later, we came over a rise and spotted a small ranch house in the hollow below. 
The only sign of life was a few buzzards clustered on a mound in a little gully behind the ranch. We left our horses concealed and worked our way down the slope under cover. Buzzards reluctantly took flight. We saw what had been buried in the mound, or what was left of it. Ralston's body. Yeah. Whoever stole our cattle money busted Ralston out of jail, forced him out here, and killed him. Yeah. Question is, who done it? Whose ranch is this? See over there to the right? It's Crocker's Mesa. Crocker's Mesa? Taggart said Blackwell had a ranch near Crocker's Mesa. So Blackwell's our man. Looks like it. We, we, we better get back to that ranch house before Blackwell gets back. It might be too late. If they figure we tumbled to the fake trail, they could circle back here to the ranch ahead of us. They? You mean Taggart, too? We'll soon find out. Keep down as much as you can. We'll circle around the corral There's here. Taggart on the porch with a rifle. Get down. <laughs> that answer your question about Taggart? Sure does. No doubt about it. They're in it together. There he goes, inside the house. We've got to bust him out of that house somehow. Wait a minute. That wagon there beside the corral. Eh? When I give the word, we'll head for it. Get behind it. Yeah, now. Well, what now? The ground slopes down to the house from here. Let's get this wagon moving. It'll cover us. Now, shout. Stay close behind it. Be ready to shoot when it hits. She's heading right for the house. Stay low. Yeah, yeah, sure will. There she goes. Come on, fast. Yeah, there's Blackwell at the window. I'll get him. Oh! Hold it, Tiger. Drop your gun. Drop it. Slaughter. All right, don't try it. Hey. Hey, my, my, he took a little convincing. Where's the money, Blackwell? Where is it? Uh, uh, under uh, a loose board in the, in the floor. Loose board? I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's our cattle money, all right. And the mine payroll. Well, I guess that's that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Slaughter, appears to me you was taking quite a chance. Just a winging Blackwell and knocking out Taggart instead of gunning him down. You don't owe them no favors. I wasn't doing them any favor, Wichita. I was just saving them. Saving them? For what? The citizens of Tombstone. <laughs> Luke Slaughter of Tombstone, starring Sam Buffington. Written by Robert Stanley, with editorial supervision by Tom Hanley, and directed by William N. Robeson. Supporting Mr. Buffington were Junius Matthews, Sam Edwards, Vic Perrin, Lawrence Dobkin, Jack Moyles, and Frank Gerstel. Next week at this time, we return with... Slaughter's the name. Luke Slaughter. When we meet up again, you can call me that. Luke Slaughter. Special score for Luke Slaughter was composed and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Stay tuned now for Frontier Gentlemen, following immediately on most of these same stations of the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>